<laughs> the project's about healthy eating, changing people's attitudes, um, getting them to shop more healthily. Uh, and really the impact on their lifestyle. It's, about, it's a well-being project, yes, it's about you know, getting them healthier and, and those sorts of things. But in a nutshell, it's about getting people to use the microwaves, eat properly, stop buying processed food, you know, buy healthy food, see how easy it is to cook in your microwave just for one, or you know, do stuff and freeze it. And it's trying to change that whole mentality and get them into a much more healthier lifestyle. But also trying to create little social networks for people who are isolated which improves not just their mental well-being, the physical well-being, just everything. It's really important them to get older people looking at what they're eating. Um, I think we, they can get into the habit of not thinking too much about food, it's too much trouble to cook, um, but it's really important because of the health issues and things that they can end up not, not, not eating nutritionally. So it's important to get them involved and getting them involved in cooking for themselves gives them an interest and stimulates them again to start eating better. It's not just about food cooking, it's about food shopping, it's about food labelling, but it's also about the eat well plate, which is also about how much carb, how much sugar, how much fat, how much protein that you need to have in your diet and what you should be eating on a regular basis. The courses run over 10 sessions. We come in and work on five of those. and The first part of each session will be theory based. and We'll sit around the table and we'll look at help their eat, eat well plate or salt or fat or and one session is about um, the risk from particular a particular type of food poisoning and we'll, we'll do that and we'll, we'll have a little chat have some questions and then we cook for the rest of the, the rest of the session and at the end of the session we all sit down and eat and be um, three four dishes that we've made and we share them and have a little chat about those and uh, and just talk about the next week and what we're going to be doing I'm finding it enjoyable through learning to use microwaves, how quick and simple it is to cook with them, um, which I didn't realise. I used a microwave to warm things up, not to cook in. Well, I've learned how to shop in a different way completely. You know, um, just the values of food, what's fattening, what isn't, what's good for you, what isn't, because as you get on in years, you know, you want to eat what's good for you, and that has really come home to me, you know, to know that what you're putting in your mouth is doing you good. Well, it's changed the way I, the way I eat now because um, before I used to use lots of salt when I was cooking and now I don't use any at all. And now I find that I can taste every piece of um, food that I'm eating now. You know, the vegetables, you can taste the carrots different, the leeks or, or peas or everything, it's all different now to what it used to be before because um, I don't know, it just, it just seems entirely different, you know, and, and much more um, nutritious, really, you know. The participants on the course would look to give them as much information as we can um, so they have more, more information about um, making better choices, maybe more healthier choices, but also re getting them reinterested in cooking, giving them some, maybe some new skills. We're using microwaves, which for some people is a, is a new concept to actually use do cooking in the microwaves but in general find that really useful it's a really good tool for them so they're taking away general health information but also actually learning cooking skills. It's about being healthier and if you lose weight in the process it's about toning up I suppose um, so the fact that you stopped eating so much fat and sugar you should lose weight um, but also we're encouraging them to do some exercise because also within the 10 weeks is two weeks of exercise taste as sort of Tai Chi or um, Zumba Gold, but we also leave them with uh, lots of information on all the other activities that Age UK do. Lots of walking, tea dances, line dance, Tai Chi, every, everything. I encourage them to do that because that alongside the food really will impact um, on their, their health. It's starting. It's starting to change the way I think about food, about the way I think about what to buy. So yes, it is it's slow, slow progress, but I'm starting to think about that now. You know, considering this is like the third week, but the second week of cooking, it's it's work. It's starting to work, it's, and I need to to lose weight myself, so I need the healthy cooking to help things along.
no, I just didn't look after myself properly at all. When I had a family and when they were at home, yes, because you have to, you know, make sure they're eating all right. But since I've been on my own, no, I just don't eat properly at all. And I've learned through being here that, f that I'm not doing my body any favours at all, you know. And so I'm learning the nutritional value of foods and, you know, what's right and what's wrong, and that's good. It's important for people of all ages and across North Tyneside to eat healthy because of the impact that it has on your lifestyle, also the impact that it has on the social care and uh, NHS budgets, you know, all these pills and portions that people take. If they had a healthier lifestyle, they wouldn't need to take so many. And one of the, the main things from this project would be to create a, a, a social prescribing sort of project, but to try and make it sustainable and to get uh, the medical profession to realise that by doing something like this, you know, their blood pressure can drop, you can deal with diabetes, you know, the impact is huge, but the mental well-being impact is, is colossal as well. So that's the real key to come out of this. And for them to have fun, for them to reconnect with food and remember, you know, what it was like and it's, it's a social thing and you talk to people while you're eating and so there's lots of avenues to it. It's hard to put a finger on what's been the most important thing. Everything's been important to me, really. It's made me sit up and take notice and shop differently. You know, think more about what I'm doing, what I'm eating. Just think, everything in general, it's just made me wake up, if you like. And, you know, things. it's, it's just been really good for me. One of the things I'm learning off the sessions is not to be frightened. Don't fear cooking. Don't fear the machinery. Try and get in and, and get in amongst it and, and, and absorb it and use it to its potential. You know, it's there. It'll do whatever you want it to do, but you have to understand not to be frightened of it. That's what I'm learning. Don't be frightened. I've learned quite a few handy tips. Um, and first of all, was I went on the Real Food Works website. Um, copied out some of the recipes that we've been doing here, passed that information on to friends and other places that I volunteer in. Um, I feel as if I seem to have told a lot of people about these sessions. Um, it's just absolutely brilliant that it's, that it's happening and that I've had the opportunity to be involved. Well, I never used to use a microwave before, but now I do use the microwave and I find it quite, well, quite economical and then I'm not using electricity too much uh, by putting, or gas by putting in the oven on now. Um, I find re really using a microwave cooking is very, very good, actually, you know, to what, um, what I used to use before. I think it's an extremely good idea. So over the years, I've struggled with my weight. I've been to lighten up programmes. I've got to lose weight for my health and it's a way forward. If they linked the lighten up programmes through the NHS with this cooking, it would help a lot of people because a lot of people don't understand about, I didn't, I certainly didn't understand about balancing foods, about what salts in foods, etc. I, I just didn't understand it. But you learn, and you're never too old to learn.